You are listening to the Hello Sport well? Podcast. I'm well. Fucking oath. That's good. It's a, it's a nice time of year. Like, it's not as silly as silly seasons of yonder, <laughs> but it's still just a nice vibe. Like, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Steph and I yesterday, like, you know, the life of fucking, like, our sort of life is like, oh, okay, dinner, bed, bath, nightmare sort of shit. And yesterday we were like, do you want to just fucking, we're going to pick up Evie from daycare at like quarter to five. Let's just go to the beach. Let's just go to Bondi. It's still hot as shit. Take Evie down, have a swim. Then we're like, we had dinner ready at home. We're like, fuck that dinner. Let's go to the bloody RSL. Let's yeah. go have a feed. Put, yeah. Fuck it. It's silly season. It's That's silly, my silly season. Yeah, but That's me you know letting what? my hair it's down. It's still silly. <laughs> it's silly. It's all context you when know it what? comes to silliness. And I didn't wear shoes in the RSL. Meant to. And I'm not being disrespectful to our fallen diggers. No. I but I was being disrespectful that. to the manager who had made it abundantly clear that you needed shoes. What he failed to realise or to acknowledge at least was that I didn't have any and I'm silly in the silly season. Yeah. So I'm coming in. So I just snuck in and wrapped my feet up in a towel and couldn't move for the entire meal. But that's what it's about. That's it. It's about being silly on your own terms. Whatever silly means for you. Yeah. I mean, when you're a kid, having, you know ghost drops all day at the fucking at the at the local pool and pounding soft drink into the earth is you being that's, silly that's your silly running season. running around being a silly little hooligan that's your silly season burning just like more calories than any sort of human thought possible yeah oh yeah oh you're fucking thin you're thin as shit but like you eat so much sugar but all you're doing is running around yeah yeah bit of bull rush baby you know what Jeez. i mean but like even just they just run to places like you might just be like oh can you go get this it's like yeah sweet i'll go get it from my bedroom instead of just like meandering over there like a normal person they just sprint everywhere there's Mate, no way you get fat i don't no know how way. a kid gets fat we used to have walking zones at our own pro- old primary school because like people run well kids run everywhere walking zones yeah you know what? Not a bad shout. Like I'm, high traffic areas, yeah, parents, yeah, yeah. teachers, walk here, bro. Speed limits. Speed limits. Yeah. You got to have speed limits on kids. I think that's reasonable though because they just don't fucking, they don't They don't think. stop. You, you're, you're saving them from themselves. 100%. We all need to be saved from ourselves sometimes. Do you reckon, I? because I, I don't remember, did you used to come back to the classroom like a sweaty fucking mess or were you good to go? No, I think you must have, but I think you kind of didn't care. It was like, all right, I'm just going to cool down. Well, you didn't stink. Did you not? I guess you didn't. Like, I, you didn't I need deodorant so. as a kid. No, no, no. Fuck no. That comes later that on. That comes later when you, you, you start using deodorant before you need it because you're like, I'm a man now. I'm 12. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get some Lynx fucking Africa. 100% Lynx Africa. But then you actually start to need it when, you know, the pubes start to grow and the whips are cracking in the ball sacks of the nation and the, you know. Isn't that funny how when you're first doing stuff, you go for an option that's not what you end up using. So like everyone used Lynx Africa. Now I don't know a single person that uses Lynx Africa. But is that the smart thing? Be the early entry for like young kids who are going to blow their money on dumb shit. They don't care. It's cool. Market but I mean, the same, the same with like Ted's beers. Yes, exactly. Getting pissed, get on the Ted's. Get, now you're like, well, teds. well, I don't know why we're on the Ted's. Yeah, I don't, who, who brought the Ted's? Who brought Ted's? Uh, who decided Ted's would the Someone fucking pull the cord out of the, out of the speakers, like scratch the record off. Uh, what sick fuck bought the Ted's because they're uh, we got the local police down here they're going to take you away you're not welcome here uh, and then when they find out we all brought Ted's we all brought Ted's well in fairness to us we were 14 drink responsibly drink responsibly um, but yeah that's right well that sounds lovely Tom. yeah that's that's the silly season though traffic uh, traffic taking the piss I had a good run today did ya yeah dream run I was in the jungle yesterday and it was just fucking chaos. And now everyone's got fucking COVID. Shout out Michael Pride of Omicron fame. Um, I'm like, dude, this thing's ripping and tearing and everything's fucking busy and the jungle. But they knew it was going to rip and tear. Completely. That's actually what's made me feel like I've been pleased about the response. It's like, yeah, well, by January, we're expecting like 25,000 cases a day. So it's like, yeah, just just get used to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get used You'll to it. You'll be fine. You'll be all good. It's happened everywhere else. I don't understand entirely the necessity for a booster. I know what it's about, but I'm like, do I need one? You probably oh, don't. No. But older people yeah, do. Yeah, older people do. Yeah. Or Dave. Or Dave, who's at high risk. Because 
his because of his sensibilities. Yes, exactly. Because of his because of his political ideologies. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, at <laughs> he's at He's at Harvest. Hundred percent. But there's there's something in the air. Punters and dribblers know that we've been saying that all month, obviously. But it's really starting to ramp up now. Yeah, getting into its work. Really getting into its work. Where I think this will blow your fucking minds, punters and dribblers. This will blow your cocks off and vaginas if you're a dribblet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe like eight or nine sleeps till Christmas. Wow. So if you've got an advent calendar at home, you'd be working through it. You would be. Well, firstly, you'd be working through it or you'd be like me and it'd be finished. <laughs> Did you get one? Not now, but in the past, I've been like... Oh, do you go early on the advents? I have been known to go early on the advent calendar. I've, I don't, I've, I've actually never met anyone that'll, that'll go early on really? an advent. No. I've got no self-control when it comes Clearly. to... To sweets, Clearly. you know what I mean? Like, were you were you pan an advent in one city? <laughs> have you, have you done that in the past? Well, I know sure you could. I, I know yeah. you could. Yeah, I would have comfortably panned an advent. But you know what? I'm, I don't have control, but I do have like a get it together bra, sort of like I can pull myself back, but it just means it'll be finished the next day. Put it this way. Do you open the little doors and then See eat, the cho- eat the chockey and then in shame close it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As in like Let's nothing to see no here. No one's been here. No <laughs> one's been here. My advent calendar. What date are we? The 12th? Uh, yeah, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. Close them. Shout out to advent calendars though, because they were good. Like good. They were, like they were a cool fucking- Good? Yeah. Bruh. They were great. They were unbelievable. I haven't had one in a while, but... Just like a chocolate calendar, right? Like know that when I have kids, they'll be getting one and I'll have my own. You'll have your own one? Yes. It's a lot of calendars for one house. Doesn't matter. Well, like for you, because there's temptation everywhere and <laughs> exactly. five advent calendars yeah, is a lot more yeah. than one. I'm a heroin addict and there's just bloody... Yeah, your kid goes to open it and there's chocolate it, yeah. missing. Oh, <laughs> you must have got a faulty you one. You must have got a shit one. Whoops. <laughs> Let's take it back and get another one. Are you uh, are you pretending to be Santa this year for Evie? I had not even thought about it. Probably not. Like, you know, because then you have the opportunity to leave out shit that you want. Santa loves beers. He also loves fucking... Oh, you know what? Actually, that's not a bad shout. I didn't even thought about that about like, oh, Santa came overnight. She doesn't really know Santa. Santa's not a thing for her. Right. And maybe I've got a... That's a responsibility that I... Is on me to fucking do it. Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, obviously. But she does know Christmas, like as in. What about like Santa photos and shit? We've had that. Well, again, she's only one. Like she's not even yeah, two. She's yet. pretty switched on, bro. Oh no, she's very switched on. She's doing a doctorate at the moment. But Santa hasn't been like the front thing. We haven't been pushing Santa, not like through any intention. Just more. It's just like Christmas, Christmas tree. She loves a Christmas tree, and she just likes out of context in the middle of nowhere going Merry Christmas, everybody, and you're like that is. Just the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my life. So look, now that you think about it, maybe I will leave some cookies out. Not of the vegan persuasion. No. You know what? One night, I, you just take a night off. Take place. a night off, Tom. Take a night off. Just go. Just go. Your premiers. Your premier cookies. Go yeah. your premiers, or just go your choc chips. Just go the, up. The and premier do. choc chips. Yes. Dude. Premier choc chips are the greatest choc chip. From like a mass-produced commercial. Co- Sort of standpoint. Yeah, you not can, your homemade. If you can find me a homemade, I'm sure, or like one of those big motherfuckers, I'll happily indulge. But commercial grade cookie, choc chip, mm. my fucking mouth is watering just thinking about it. Like I'm always choking on it. <laughs> Premier choc chip cookies. Now, if you want to talk about things I can pound into the earth in a sitting, my God, <laughs> Steph's like, bro, why are we even doing this? Like, why are you get these are gone tonight? I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Well, that's exactly the point. Uh, but yeah, maybe I will go Santa now that you say it. Well, I think I so. I yeah. think you introduced the tradition early. Santa enjoys premier choc chip cookies. Shitloads of them. Yeah, shitloads of them. Let it be known. Let it be known. Let it know now. Let her know now so that they get into a habit. And then I you got and then you got what ten years, twelve years of good stuff. Good pound living. of Christmas premier cookies. I saw. I can't remember on whose Instagram. Someone that I follow, but like the lengths that they went to because I obviously Santa comes from the North Pole historically very snowy icy up there um but it was like cut they'd cut out big f- shoe prints and then put them on the ground and then like dusted flour around them so it looked like snow falling off his boots mm. all the way through the house i was like that is 
Oh, people go above and beyond. That's great. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I... Do you have that in you? From like a arts and crafts standpoint, that would be where I'm concerned, like about what my skill set would be. Yes. Steph, potentially, she could do it, and maybe I'd be more of an overseer of the situation. But arts and crafts are never my thing. You'd be able to buy... I reckon you could download, like get templates... Of just a shoe. Of a shoe. And then, or you could probably buy them online. Bang. Sprinkle. That's Bang. fucking Sprinkle. eyes up from you, Eddie. I don't mind that. Like if you're... If, if cutting out the shape of a shoe is beyond you. Yeah. The thing that I just... I don't think it need, would need to be like... It doesn't need to be accurate. like one of the great shoes all no, time. No, I don't think it needs it? to be one of the great shoes all time. No. 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 I don't think Evie, who's still just can't even tie her own shoes. I don't... I'd be, I'd be surprised and I'd also be a little disappointed in her if she started coming at me for like, mm. like how the fuck do you know what a shoe, like yeah, a, what, yeah. this could be a new shoe you haven't seen before, you're two years old. Yeah, yeah. this doesn't look to scale to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, how big is this Santa Claus? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know whether she would even give a fuck because so you know, she might be like, oh, what's this dust on the ground? Okay, anyway, where's my presents? Yeah. Maybe it's a bit early for that. Maybe. Maybe it's next year for But it's not too early for Premier Cookies. It's never too early for those. Even in the daytime, like, I'd get into them early. That's what I'm saying. I'd eat them now. Because well, you could play it both ways. You could go, listen, I'll need to road test them to make sure they're up to, you know, Code. quality control for Santa. Mm. Joke's on you. I'm also Santa. <laughs> I'm double dipping here. Now I've got a double Santa. dip. Now go. I've got a double dip. I'm back as Santa. So you could bring those sort of traditions in. Daddy road testing for Santa. Daddy, you don't know Santa. that Daddy is Santa. Daddy's got fucking double dip. Yeah, and now he's got diabetes. of the chalk chip. Double dip of the chalk chip, and now he needs insulin. <laughs> <laughs> now Daddy's in a wheelchair because <laughs> he had to have his big toes cut off, <laughs> <laughs> and he can't actually stand he up can't stand without up. falling no, over. No, he's got no balance. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that'd be a bad way to lose your, your, your two big toes. Yeah, well, I mean, there's not a good way. There's no noble way. I mean, there's probably is a noble way to well, lose your two big toes. Well, look, I think there'd be a noble way. <laughs> you know, saving someone in a blizzard or something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe lose circulation, need to get yeah. it cut off. That's noble. Or if someone's like, to Maybe save the, your family, I'm going to need to cut off your big toes. That's noble. That's noble. But losing them to Premier Chalky <laughs> Cookies, <laughs> that's not noble. That's, you can't spin that one as well. How'd you lose well, them? Well, it's hard to spin. Yeah, well, you I could, OD'd yeah. on Premier Chalk Chip Cookies. You could go after Big Sugar, try and blame them, but... They've know. been fucking avoiding any uh, responsibility for a long time, it would big say. Big Sugar? Have you heard of fucking Big Fat? Yeah, Big Fat, Big Sugar. Well, no, like, as in Sugar started blaming... Oh, started, started saturated blaming... Saturated fats. Saturated fats, yes. Nothing to say over here. Uh, look at the fat over there. Look at the fat over there. Guilty of their name. I mean, victim to their name, victim saturated their name. fat. Yeah, absolutely. Because actually, it's very positive. Yeah, It's Correct. a bit of a wool pull on the It's a situation. massive wool pull. There's bad fats. But there's a lot of good fats. Think about this, Tom. Think about this. Were they called saturated fats and then big sugar with the great wool pull started to divert attention their way and then they started calling people fat that were overweight? I mean, that's a good question. I don't know how long the term fat's been around That's for. what You know what I mean? Dave? Before that, were you just overweight? Potentially. And now you're a saturated fat. Now you're, now you're saturated, yeah, with fat. Is it, what's the, what's the term when you're trying to find the origins of words? Not, uh, uh, is it the etymology? Etymology, yeah. right, which is a great word in and of itself. Um, well, it had to be. You'd want it to be, right? It, it would have to be. Yeah. Uh, so it's from the 1590s from Shakespeare's Henry IV. So Henry IV came up with the word fat. Well, I think Shakespeare. Shakespeare oh, sorry, did. Shakespeare. For Henry Shakespeare IV. came up with the word fat. Uh, it's what it says was one of the earliest origins. Big lift from Bill. So we're short Actually, that sorry, I've come across something more. The first records of the word fat come before the year 1000. Oh. comes from the old English verb faeten, meaning to cram or to load. Many of the meanings of fat involve the idea of excess. So saturated fat's been stitched up. Well, saturated fat's always called fats, though. As in, like, fat was a thing before saturated fat was a thing. When did they know that fats were a thing? That early? Probably not. Probably not. Possibly. Doubt I'd it. I doubt it. I doubt that. 
I'm that's... putting that in camp doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas, I am. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, you said you you said to me yesterday you had some story for me. I you? do have a story for you. It's a good story. Great story. So, me and Elsa went for a walk yesterday, as we do every morning, walking the big beast, Tonka. He is a big motherfucker. He demands two walks a day. He actually liked you, Dave. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, very sweet. He liked me. Yeah, oh, but he's yeah. already liked you. Yeah. Okay. yeah he's already liked time. you. Yeah, it's fair. We, I, we were wrestling, though. Mm. Me and him wrestling. I know you go along, like, you do a lot to try and train him. You I can wrestle over. him every now and then. I fucking, we were going hard. It's yeah. a workout. Oh, fuck yeah. You big I, boy. I was getting into, like, the pre-wrestling stages of getting a bit excited, and then the wrestle started, and I'm like, oh, I can't even play wrestle with this dog. <laughs> yeah. He will yeah. unintentionally knock me across the room. When we were carrying boxes out of the of the, the gates, and then Dave was like, oh, I've got Tonka, don't worry. I was like, but you don't, though. <laughs> like, if he, if he decides to fucking go... You're going to need to hope he doesn't, like, you're going to need to, like, try, hold, like, his back two legs together and yeah. hope he doesn't try and bite you. Yeah, he wouldn't run. He wouldn't run. He's not, like, a fucking see you later, I'm up the road operator. Yeah. He needs to be around the, the people. The but it's also, like, it was more about high-vis, guy in the van he doesn't know. Yes. Is he going to, is he going to, and, well, we, and we just, need to get these packages out. We need to get him out and I don't want him to leave because he got barked at. Or murdered by or, the dog. Or, or killed. <laughs> um, anyway, so we always walk the big fella. Morning and night, get him out and about. Doing our walk yesterday and we're doing lead training. Like, so basically we get this fucking long lead because he doesn't come back when he's off the lead. He's like, fuck you. Like, he thinks it's a joke. Yeah, right. Just has a fuck. As in, he doesn't run away. He's just like, I'm not coming to you. He's like, yeah, but I'm not going to come to you. So it's, there's just like a whole procession to get him back. Yeah. Um, which is fine, but like not it's ideal. Annoying. So we got this really long lead, right? I take it up and like let him fucking roam and then we're like come here and we feed him and shit when he does sort of conditioning him to like come to us when we say anyway so we're up in the park and then ella's got him and then she just sort of sees something over in the park sort of like like a little animal almost and she's like fuck and tonka's seen it and he's like sort of going for it. we didn't know what it was and so i just grab him and pull him back and ella's like so i've got tonka over here and ella's like fuck i think it's a bilby you know, a bilby? Like little... Yeah, like, they're like little like kangaroo sort of looking things, aren't they? They're like this. Get one up on the screen. Mm. Yeah, get a bilby up. <clears throat> she's like, I think it's a bilby. They're fucking rare around here. I'm like, Jesus Christ, a bilby. And she's like, I don't think it's in a very good place. As in, in a bad way? Well, it was in a bad way. It uh, wasn't moving that well. Like, it didn't really react to Tonka. Like, usually you'd a expect... A bilby shit its pants. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe it's like... Or fun. maybe like, yeah, like a bilby, I think she said. Or like a bandicoot. Bandicoot. Was it a bandicoot? Bandicoot. A bandicoot? Do we have them? Yeah. Bandicoots. Bandicoots are, I don't know if they're endemic, but I think they're native to Australia. She's like, it's a bandicoot and they're really rare here. And I'm like, fucking hell, is that a bandicoot? <coughs> anyway, so, but I'm sort of over with Tonka, like holding him back. She's like, this thing's not in a great place. Like, I'm going to fucking stay with it. Like put her shirt over and shit, like really sweet care yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. She's very much like that, Elsa. Like. Caring for. Very her. caring for animals. And so she's like, can you walk home and get another box, of which we had plenty of. Yes. Because of the big merch drops. There's fucking boxes everywhere. Right, I go back, get this box. She's like on the phone to Wise and they're like, take it to the vet. I'm like, yes, right. Go up there, get the box, get a towel. She like picks it up and puts it in the box. Um, blah, blah, blah. So we're driving. She's like, be careful, like drive slowly and shit. I'm like, all right, Elsa, fucking chill out. I'm sure it'll be all right. She's yeah. like, no, it's scared, blah, blah, blah get there and there's like no parking at the vet so i'm just sitting in the car I'm like you take it in she goes in comes out she's like so about that bandicoot i'm like yep she goes it was a rat <laughs> it was just a rat it was a rat huge rat i'm like Ech! That's so fucking air. What did they do with it? <coughs> they had got a paras, it had got a tick, like a parasite tick, and it was like fucking on the way out. So they're like, oh, we're just going to euthanize this rat. <laughs> we're like, I was like, yeah, sure. They will just take it out and put it in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> fucking um, hell. So did it look anything like that? I wasn't that cl- I never got that close to it because I had Tonka <laughs> and then it was wrapped up. So I don't really know. But she maintains it looks a fuck like, like a bandicoot. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> They sort of, I can see how maybe you got mistaken. I had no idea that we had bandicoots. They don't look 
nothing like that. Uh, yeah, well, you know I, know I mean? mean, a bandicoot looks a bit like a rat. Yeah. <coughs> Didn't look like that, the rat. You and know she what, was though? fucking huge, bro. A bush rat's probably cleaner. It was a bush rat. A bush rat's cleaner than like if you were just picking up a rat outside a cafe. No, it was a bush rat. Yeah. Because we were in like uh this we were in like a reserve. Yeah. Is that that bit right behind their house? Mm, yeah, that reserve wraps around to where yeah, we yeah, were. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she had her hands on a bush rat. <laughs> How did she react to that? Yeah, well, it's <laughs> funny because she came out, she goes. So she's like, oh, I've got this bandicoot. And the lady's like, holy shit, like takes it back. And then she came back out because she's like, I'll fill out this paperwork. And then she came back out five minutes, or a couple of minutes later. And she goes, we won't be needing the paperwork. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a rat. rat. Um, and she's like, you have got to be joking. Because <laughs> Ella's got form in this department. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like we we're at home once and- Oh my God, this horse looks sick. It's a And um, she was like, thought that there was a possum that had fallen out of the tree and that was really sick. And so same thing on the phone to Wise. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a possum. She's like, no, it is, it is, it is. And I'm like, I know, but almost like it convinced me that she knew what baby possums looked, looked like. like right. And I'm like, fuck, I, we, need, we need another eyes on this. So yeah. I like go home and I'm like, my sister, my brother, I'm like come outside and have a look at this thing. My brother comes out and goes, that's a mouse. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you might have to hang up to wires yeah, now. They're yeah, not going to yeah, take yeah. that thing. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. And anyway, we like, came back fucking half an hour later and it, a bird had taken it, which was very <laughs> distressing for Ella. <laughs> well, yeah, look. I think maybe she needs to to like there's a, put there's down the, the Dr. Harry yeah. hat for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I go, your Dr. Harry privileges are over for yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You're like, not, you might be able to earn them back, but based on what I've seen it. Maybe like if you discover a new species of animal or something, like we might start to consider you a, 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 an expert on, yeah. you know. But at the moment, at the, as it is, as it stands, Elza, my love, you're Owen two. You're Owen two. Do you, we've, we're taking off Dr. Harry's fucking hat from you. That's so good, dude. Yeah, dude. That's so good. I would have loved to have had a camera on her face when the woman goes, you She goes, it. oh, right. my God, my partner's, <laughs> he's going to find this hilarious. And I was just like, you have got to be joking. Holy shit. She's How long like, was his fucking tail, man? She's like, you, well, she's like, it wasn't that long. She's like, you saw it? I'm like, not really. Like, I sort of did. But you it wrapped was it in a fucking 20 shirt. 20 metres away and you wrapped it in a shirt. Because it was cold, you said. And so then you had to go back to the house, get a box, come back, put yeah, the rat. So I walked like 10 metres back to the house, 10 minutes back, yeah. get the car and a box and a towel, come back, get the rat. And when we're leaving, they're like, she's like, the, the, the vet was like, do you want the towel back? She's like, you can keep the towel. You can keep the towel. We're done with that towel. We're done with that towel. The rat towel. But a bush rat is different. Like, I think that's worth, you know. Well, look, I, in her defense, like, home. I don't, from where I was standing, the because she's like. The, that's a free rat. You know, there's different like country rat, city rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bush rat. And she was like, it had a long nose. Like, oh, you know, I come to her defense to a degree. Like, it didn't look like. Your cut and dry house rat. Well, look, it probably did. This thing was big. Yeah, bro. it's a bush rat. They yeah. probably get a bit bigger in the oh, bush. Oh fuck yeah! But be that as it may, a rat it was. We did. <laughs> there's no denying that it was a rat. She's like, "Do you think they're lying?" I'm like, "Lying? <laughs> why? Why? why would they be lying? Oh, because maybe they don't want to help it." I'm like, "No, I don't think so." Why wouldn't they want to help it? Exactly. That's I think just, she was just she was just embarrassed about embarrassed about finding a bush rat <laughs> and nursing it. I'm like, lucky we didn't take it back to the house. For was she fucking... like patting it and shit? No, she wasn't patting it. Thank God. Not like through the shirt. Like you're okay, oh, bush rat. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Look, when I left, she might have sitting there going, "You're okay." We're not ruling that no, out because that's and that's the thing, though, right? She is like a caring, loving to the animals, Doctor Harry type. Yeah. It's like this fucking rat's dying of a tick parasite. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh God, very funny. Bandicoots have bifurcated penises. What does that mean? Yeah, well, I was going to bring that up if you wanted to, but well, basically, male bandicoots, like most marsupials, not kangaroos though, um, have essentially two penises, and the women have essentially three vaginas. This so they go like this. Yeah, they're like almost forked, and I think they. Did you know they, that, or they, you just? That's no, what I'm saying like means. three, you'd be going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so for the males, one, <laughs> one penis is used for pissing and the other is used for sex. Right. And right, then, so, it's, so he's got a pee hole and a sex hole. Yeah, and then the females, 
It says <laughs> female marsupials have two lateral vaginas. Like um, on their sides? I don't lateral? know. Or maybe they're next to each other, like not on top of each other. Right. Um, and one is... Wait, so they have two lateral and then another one for birth. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Weird stuff. I'm so assuming to the so, bandicoot. Yeah, so next time you pick up a bandicoot, check how many penises it has, mm. and then you can tell if it's a rat or not. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So if it's a rat, it won't have multiple dicks. Okay. For those playing a lot at home, it's how you tell. Because mm. they don't look too yeah. dissimilar. That's the only way you can tell. Yeah, although, dicks or vaginas, although they yeah. do. They don't look that... They Look, I would see it and go, it's probably a rat, if I looked at the Eastern Bard bandicoot. Yep. But if I saw a rat... I'd know it was a rat. Yeah. I think. Well, the Indian, the term originally referred to the unrelated Indian bandicoot rat. How closely related are bandicoots? Are bandicoots native to these shores? Yeah, they're endemic to Australia, Papua New Guinea. Endemic. That means they're only here. Oh, love that. So kangaroos are endemic. Yes. Wombat's endemic. Interesting. Yes. Crash Bandicoot. I just thought that was because it was an American game. I'm thinking, oh, okay. So there are obviously Bandicoots in other parts of the world or no? Is that what I'm being told? No, there's not. Only Australia and New Guinea. So he was an Aussie, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Or, a pa or Papuan. Or Papuan. I'm pretty sure like part of his character was that he was Aussie. I didn't know you wouldn't have known that. No, it wasn't. Was it Bandicoot? Actually, maybe it was, dude. Bandicoot has never seemed like a fucking... Australian Doesn't animal. he wear it? Wasn't he used to wear a fucking like a Aussie cat, like a no, he yeah, like did. A, a crocodile Dundee. Yes, hat he did. He used to wear a crocodile Dundee hat. Did he? Yeah, I forgot about oh, that. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. The games are mostly set on the fictitious Wampa Islands. Yeah, and yeah, 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 South yeah, of yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's that a good a stuff. Hell of a game. Fucking hell, that's a bloody throwback. That Crash Bandicoot. Shout out to game. you, bro. Yeah, shout out to you. Um. So there you go. That was my funny story. That's I hope you enjoyed a, that it. That is a fucking funny story. That's hilarious. What time today does the test cricket start? Three o'clock. It's the the double-edged sword of the day-nighter, isn't it? I've got to wait till three to watch it, but I've got cricket all night. I don't think it's a big deal, buddy. Oh, it's a double-edged sword, Eddie. Make no mistake, because I could fucking watch cricket all day today. But watching it at night's great. It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. But I'm just saying. So, obviously, you and I have the finger on the pulse. We know that the best thing for the nation is to play a Jahai. Yes. Jahai picked. Jahai picked. Obviously, Mervyn Hughes saw it differently. Look, our good friend Merv Hughes, who we uh, spent basically just like really quality time with earlier in the week. Yeah. Getting to know each other. Our, you know, our wants, our desires. Not in a sexual sense, just like, you know. You our know, wants, our needs, our desires. Yeah, just from, like a, just from like a really sort of uh, intimate personal standpoint. Correct, 100%. Uh, Merv said Nessa because he's more like Hazelwood, Jahai more like Stark. Wild boys that can bowl fast and get wickets, but they can also leak runs. But the selectors gone, fuck it, we want a Jahai. Who are we to deny a Jahai? Never, ever, ever deny Jahai no. from his calling. Yep. And his calling is to take test wickets for the nation. Today, punters and dribblers, today is the day. Yep. Punters and dribblers, we will be doing a live stream tonight. Yes. Yes, you heard that correctly. Tom and I will be sitting down. We'll be sharing a couple of uh, ales together. I'm thinking of bringing some tequila and catching an Uber. I'll be coming in from lunch, so I'll be a bit chiddly. <laughs> <laughs> Assume you won't be driving then. No. No, I won't. Uh, and we will be coming live to the punter and the dribbler from 6.30. I reckon we'll do two hours, any longer than that, and I'll be in a body bag. Yeah. So it would probably be at 6.30 to 8.30. Come and just fucking join in, watch a bit of test cricket, shoot the shit with us, even though we're the only ones talking. But you can follow along. Yeah. You can, like, do it via live chat. You can do whatever you want. We're just gonna be sitting here pounding fucking. I, I will say this do for we free. Want to have margaritas? I will say, yeah, fuck yeah. We'll, I'll get some margarita cans yeah. on the way in. I will say this, punters and dribblers. Listen carefully. When Tom and I have had a couple and we're doing a live stream, we've been known to give shit away. We've been known to give shit away. 
Guess what else? We've also been known to give away punters and dribblers hats, which are in <laughs> fucking getting sold for three hundred five fucking dollars. Three hundred bucks on on eBay. A punters and dribblers hats going for. People ask us. I will say this. People ask us for those punters and dribblers hats all the time. Yeah. They are not for sale. No, they're not. We have a, a, a very select few squirreled away for moments like this. Doomsday prepping. It's like, what happens if the world ends and we can't get any more hats? We've now got a couple of P's and D's on the side. But like, bro, I was counting them the other day. We've got fuck. No, there's none. They're basically, you know, they're basically just there for emergencies. If you hit us up and be like, oh, I lost mine. Can I have a new one? No. no but can't. also, miss out on a summer tan? We'll probably be giving one away. We will be giving one away. Yeah. Miss we'll out on a last a last dribble tee. Tune in and you'll get a last dribble and a summer tan package. If you win. If you win. Not everyone. Not everyone <laughs> who tunes in is getting one. That would be silly and bad business. But um, come in, shoot the shit, have a margarita, have a beer, relax. It'd be a giggle. Yeah. I could see have you got plan, have you got evening plans? Because no. I could fucking roll in and watch the evening session somewhere if we get if we get a little bit on board. Oh yeah, shit yeah. Six thirty p.m. Six thirty p.m. Punters and dribblers. Know that. Know that. Know that. Know that. Now tonight, this is how I see it unfolding. I see Australia going into bat and scoring six hundred. Yep. And if we go into bowl, I think we bowl them out today. Boom. <laughs> It's that damn simple. It's that simple. <laughs> Do we need to sugarcoat it? No, bro? I think you got to you got to call it as you see it. You got to call it down the line. You got to be honest with the punter and honest with the dribbler. So, yeah, we're gonna kick the fuck out of them. And that sounds a little unceremonious. It sounds aggressive, but we will kick the fuck out of them. Kick the fuck out of them. Mm. The fuck will be kicked clean from their bodies, their souls. Try that on for size. Yeah, give that a go. Give that a go. Give, give that, that a, a whirl. Go. Shout out again to Chock Watmo for having us at his wonderful restaurant, Cubby's Kitchen in Bondi, for our Christmas uh, dinner the other night. Um, he's a good man, Chock. He's done a lot for us. He's done a lot for us, Chock. And you got to give credit where credit's due. Mm. Chock, a hell of a human being, hell great, of a man. Great food, great place. Great yarns. Yeah. Great energy. Great night. Pump and Margie's. Oh, fuck yeah. Pump and Margie's till the cows came home. Obviously, the Christmas party, Hello Sport, about even. Two boys were there. Good stuff. It was nice. We um, then rolled back into Rain Man's house, Michael Pride. Gave time. it a real nudge. Yeah. An Australian nudge. An Australian nudge. Worked that place into the ground. <clears throat> Left my sonnies there. Planned to go pick him up. Now Michael has COVID, whatever. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Oh, so you're happy deal. to just walk into there then because you don't really care about COVID. Well, I don't <laughs> want it. I'm not going to go and tongue kiss a COVID patient, you know what I mean? But if I get it, I would. it seems that I'm going to be fine. Has he definitely got it? Uh, he's waiting for his test to come back, but he did the at-home one, which said yes. But so he was Oh, that's at, right, yeah. He was at a party or something, and then he was like, he was like, whoever was there, it was like someone who was just like a really, someone he knew, like wherever mm. it was a birthday or something. But the guy, the person who had it was like a super friendly one of those people that like, hey, how you doing, man? Like, it was just happened to be like the most fucking... What, tongue in his ears and shit? Not even that. I think it was just like someone who would greet anyone with a hug, you know, like, and you know, those sort of people. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, hey how you doing? And it was just literally like just going bang, 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 bang. And he said he got tested on Sunday, didn't have it, then tested on Monday. He like did his home test on Sunday, didn't have it, home test Monday. You've got COVID. You've got mail. Yeah. You've got Omicron. You've got Omicron. Like I don't know if it is that. Omicron, actually. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But that's my close... Oh, him and my uh, friend, Maddie, who had it at the very start of the pandemic, I think are the two closest people to me that I Maddie. know. Maddie. Zuli. Oh, yeah. Um, but I can't think of anyone else that I know who's really had it. But now it's like everyone's fucking getting it. Yeah. I think that's it now for us. It's like we've been locked down for so long now. It's like, all right, we're all getting it. I wonder if I'm the sort of operator that wouldn't show any, like, am I an asymptomatic guy? Yeah, are you guy? an asymptomatic guy? Obviously the son of a tank water operator. Yeah. Man who has stared swine flu in the eyes and said, nah, brah. Yeah. Not to me. Michael's had swine flu. There you go. Yeah. My old man, I don't know if I've told this story. My brother, my sister, my mum all had swine flu. Dad sat in the house, tended to them, looked after him, slept in the same bed as my mum. No. Nothing. 
Nothing. It's dead swine flew in the face. Said fuck you. So <clears throat> I As reckon. The firstborn. So I'm the firstborn. I got like I got most. supercharged by it via him. I'm thinking maybe maybe I've got asymptomatics in me. I've never had a flu ever. Never got the flu. Never. Never. So fuck, bro. I. I, 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 I will show signs. I think. Oh, you'll show signs. <laughs> I think oh, I'll be. Fuck yeah. I'll be oh, wiped you're high out. Risk. I'll be wiped out. Oh, you're high risk. I'll be fucking. You're immunocompromised. Well, I do have psoriasis, which is probably some form of it, but I'll be in bed whenever you I get. You also get hay fever. I get the flu bad, dude. You get like, sick all the time. I have to lay in bed you get with shingles. On. I don't you get, get hand, shingles. Foot and mouth. I've had shingles. Hand, foot, and mouth. We thought Evie had it again the other day. I was panic stations. I was like, fuck no, dude. Please. So you can get it again? I could have, I could have realistically continued to infect myself with hand, foot, and mouth into eternity. Do you reckon that's ever happened? If it has, then the person deserved it because they weren't taking it seriously enough. Like, y you just fucking need to shut everything down. But what if they didn't know what it was? Do you know what I mean? Like, the earliest... Yeah, but I guess they would have been bathing in the fucking rivers and whatever else they were doing. Like, I don't think someone's been infected with hand, foot, and mouth their entire life. Maybe they died from it. Who knows? There's obviously a chance there. But that, was, that sucks. Hand, foot, mouth, which is a real kid's disease. Disease, I don't know about that. It's a kid's illness. The sore throat that doesn't get better. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. You know, you get to wake up with a sore throat. It gets better during the day. Yep. Kicks off again at night. You yep. wake up in the morning. It's the most painful thing on earth. What if you have Panadol? Nurofen? Just like if this is her, like bad throat pain, it's just. What about butter menthols? Soothers? Nothing. Not even, not even pain medication. Well, I mean, I'm sure if I took fucking morphine, Eddie, it might feel better. Yeah, right. But Panadol, not... No, not no, no. It doesn't do shit. It doesn't do nothing. Nothing. It was fucked. Is Panadol the highest stuff you can get over the counter? Can't you get... Can't you get, like, Panadol Forte? Panadine Forte. Panadine Forte. That's the one. <laughs> Forte. I don't fucking know. I don't speak Forte. French. I don't speak French. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> no, you can't get Panadine Forte. <laughs> Panadine um, Fort is a subscription. Yeah, that's a subscription. Uh, it didn't oh, used to be, though. It's a, it's a subscription, is it? It's a subscription. Yeah, it's a subscription. Forte. subscription. Yeah. yeah. yeah for, Two fuck for, up. For Panadol Forte. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think it used to be over the counter, but then people used to use it for, like, codeine. I think it's got codeine in it. They used to make lean. Yeah, sure. I don't know if that's true or not. I'll I tell you what. Shit up. You got to have, you got to have some Panadol and Eurofin kicking around at all times. Just yes. in case. If yep. you wake up hung and you've got a couple of Panadols on the, on the go, bang, bang, water. I you never used to there. have them. I used to just, I, there was something about it. I don't know what it was, but whenever I was sick, not like if I had the flu, I'd do it. But like if I was just like, if I just had a headache or, you know, I felt a bit off or if I was hungover, I'd never took Panadol, never took See, anything, Ella's never took the same. Up. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I'm just like, I don't just need it. Just get better. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Then it's not a problem. Why well, the fuck would you want a, hang a headache if you don't need one? I am certainly more in camp Panadol now. I don't know if it's because, like, you can't afford to have a head, like, when you've got babies and shit. But even when you've got a life to live. Is it that an ad? I don't know. Could be. But I, I, fuck, I, I don't know what it was. It was, it was just like, I don't need to put this in my body. It was some weird thing where it was like, oh, yeah, but you can put all manner of shit in your body, but now you're against fucking Panadol. Like, it wasn't so much like that. Like, I don't want it, but it was That's what just, it sounds like. I know it does. It was just more like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right. She'll be right. But she's not right. She ain't now. No yeah. more. I need it. Can I say this, Tom? I would encourage you to. Why do Panadol sell Panadol regular? And Panadol Rapid. Because, Eddie, and I'll tell you this right now for free. Money! <laughs> <laughs> but who the fuck buys the regular? I, Who's like, you know what? I can wait. Um, I'm I happy to wait. Do I would love... And how much more rapid is it? And is it even rapid? No, I'd say it's bullshit. You reckon it's all bullshit? Yeah. What's the point? How would you be allowed to sell it? Surely they do tests. I don't know, but it's kind of like, is it the equivalent of going like, okay, well, we've got two types of Fords here. One's a V8, one's a V6. And it's just like, this one's going to be cheaper. 
but you're not going to be able to, it's not going to run as well. One's quicker. One is legitimately quicker. Yes. In the car space. But th- what I'm saying is, for 20 cents difference or whatever the fuck it is. It probably isn't 20 cents. It probably cost me the exact same thing to make it. Do you reckon it's a couple of dollars? Do you reckon that's what it is? People go, I don't want to spend the extra couple of dollars. I'll wait. Mm. Do you reckon that's what it is? Essentially. Or they'd go, bullshit. This is a wool pool. They're just trying to get money out of me. I'll just fucking take the normal Panadol I've been having my whole life, which has been fine. Like, when you have Panadol, it works. And it works pretty quick. You go, okay, that was good. I'm not like, you know what? I need this thing quicker. It does work pretty quick. Paracetamol is the... Uh, agent. The agent. Well, like, you can Active buy... Ingredient. If you If you're, you know, if you're running a tight ship at home, you can just buy black and gold paracetamol. It's exactly the same as Panadol. It's exactly the same. Yeah, dude, I get fucking home brand Panadol shit all the time. Yeah, paracetamol. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, yeah. And then Nurofen is called... Neuromol? No, it's not Neuromol. That's another thing. Um, Dave will get it up. Yeah. But anytime you go to the chemist, they're like, that's also what I... It was like when I used to get hay fever, tablets and shit. Now yeah. I'm on a spray, life-changing. Yeah. But it was like, oh, do you want this one or do you want the one that's exactly the same but not branded and cheaper? I'm like... Yeah, exactly the same. I'll just take that one, thanks. Because patents run out on pharmacy, ph- pharmaceutical drugs. I yeah. think they get 10 or 20 years. Like ivermectin, don't talk about it. And then after that, anyone can make it. Yeah, cheap as chippies. Cheap as chippies. Yeah. Um, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. What ibuprofen, not good for the stomach. Really fucked up from it. It's more like anti You're fucked up from it? No, you can get like stomach ulcers and shit if you have too much ibuprofen. Yeah, yeah, no, avoid that. That's just also... Do- like when when babies are sick, it was like you because you have to like when they get sick, you got to pump them full of this shit like Panadol and Nurofen, and you've got to like oh has it been twelve hours since this sort of thing, and you got to be super careful about giving them that because it completely fucks their insides. Again, I don't. I mean, Nurofen. What's the difference? Why is one? What's Nurofen? I think for? I think Nurofen's more like targeted muscular pain. Yeah. So like, so- you know, like period pain and like that sort of thing, I okay. think. So Nurofen is anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory is what well. ibuprofen right. is. I don't, Panadol is paracetamol, which I guess is just... Just pain. Yeah. More okay, like, so it's more like a fucking... I, I think Nurofen is more like physical pain. Like if you've got a sore something or other. Yeah. Panadol is more like headachey, like not feeling well. Like yeah, fatigue, okay. Maybe. Yeah, because Panadol also brings down a fever. Yeah. Yes, it does. Which is interesting to me. I'm like how the fuck does that work? I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you how any of it works. <laughs> What's Voltaren? Because it's back pain. Yeah. Why is it like... Oh, it's a gel, isn't it? Well, you no, get, you can, you can uh, take... No, is no. it Voltaren tablets? Yeah. I was just always yeah, a Voltaren or a Denkerub yeah. operator. <laughs> um, well, before we move on... Is Voltaren from, a gel? It, it comes in be. like different forms. It's like most medicines do. Yeah, it? but I just always thought it was that it's made... Well, I don't even know if it is a gel. You, I can, de- get, it's no, you can get tablets and you can get emule gel. Yeah, I was always thought Voltaren was like first entry into the market was like wear a cream or a gel. Yeah. Right. And they've branched out. And then they've gone, now we're going to offer Rapid. Mm-hmm. Altar and Rapid. Um, well, the difference between Panadol Rapid and regular Panadol, the only difference is that it's got sodium bicarbonate in it, which causes it to be basically like broken down and ingested quicker by the body. Mm. How much quicker? Uh, it says, well, Panadol will tell you it's twice as fast. This website says it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for Panadol Rapid. Uh, and it takes about half an hour for absorption of regular Panadol. And so can I guess you see what it is double so the time. it's significantly so it is quicker. Double, it is double okay. the time. Okay, what's the um, how much do they cost? What Panadol Rapid? Pa- inverse Panadol. I'll have a look. Because this would just be like is. But like I'm only taking Panadol if I'm in pain, and if it costs me a dollar more to save myself 15 minutes of pain, I'm paying that every day. Of course, of, the week. of course. Every day of the week. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just fucking have that in? Your Panadol. That's what I'm saying. And because Panadol Rapid came out way after regular yeah, Panadol. Yeah, because they want to fucking... Dung, dung, go, dung. Rapid? There's too many of them. I can't keep up. Basically, you got Rapid here, 10 bucks, 500 grams for 40. Let's and look at another 500 gram, 100 there. So there's 949 for 40 of them or 1349 for 100. But that is... Is one Rapid, one not? Yeah. So for a, it's a dollar thirty per ten, and it's 
What? What's the Panadol Extra with OptiZor? Yeah, they, that's why there's so many other shit. There's OptiZor, there's Panadol Osteo as well. Like for fuck's sake. There's regular sake. Panadol Extra. Yeah. Dude, they've got so many of them now. Yeah. It's there's mini, there's caps. mini caps. Fuck me dead. Panadol, bro. You need them by... What is that? They're like, I think... Right. Like just heavy ones. Prescription only. Yeah. I mean... Sure, it's obviously working for them. I don't know that you need this many fucking options. Get rid of my headache. Sort me out. Sort Get me, me out. back on the straight and narrow. And just give everyone the cru the quickest one. You're only putting sodium bicarbonate in there. It's not like you're adding some fucking, you know, magic dust. No, no, no. There's no magic dust. It's not changing. And the I'm world. assuming that sodium bicarbonate doesn't cost that much to fucking make. You would assume, Tom. You would assume comfortably. You would assume comfortably that fact. Um. So basically, Voltaren is made from this thing called diclofenac, which yep. is similar to ibuprofen, but basically stronger. Cool. I think this is probably, I think we've probably- I think we've done as much as we probably can. For Panadol, Paracetamols, Ibuprofens. I'd be very interested to hear uh, the audience's thoughts on the matter and, you know. Yeah. Are you um, still with us? Are you still, are you still here? I came across this like a week ago or something and I was like, that's weird. But now it's kind of gotten even weirder. So in, uh, so basically Michelin star restaurant in, fuck, somewhere in America. Oh, sorry. In Italy, Southern Apulia region in Lecce in Italy. Basically Apulia. restaurant reviewer went to a Michelin star restaurant, had a 27 course meal over four and a half hours. Fuck. and wrote a review basically just dragging this dude through the mud, was served some weirdly absurd things, such as what I'm about to put up on screen, which was a citrus foam served in a plaster cast of the chef's mouth. Oh, what the fuck? Yuck, dude. So the- What? I mean, that looks fucking disgusting. Yeah, so it says they were served, among the 27 courses, there were a tablespoon of crab, 12 different types of foam, um, they said there's no menu, just a blank newspaper with a QR code and you can watch videos about the chef. All the courses, I mean, understandably tiny and just made of weird things. And so anyway, she wrote this review basically saying how terrible it was. Her friends got scolded to sit down after they tried to leave for a cigarette during the meal. Um, another dude got served food he was allergic to. Um, basically a lot of weird stuff. And so then the chef sees this review of which she called it like the Stanford prison experiment, but with less prison um, and replied with his own review. And it's a bit long, but we can kind of read some of it. So he says, being able to draw a man on a horse doesn't make you an artist. The result of your talent can be beautiful to look at, but it's not art. And he's drawn a little picture of a dude on a horse. Says so she like McDonald's knows how to make a hamburger that almost everybody likes, blah, blah, blah. And then, he posts a photo of this like masterpiece Napoleon on a horse and whatever and goes, the problem with this artist is that many artists have made paintings like him. I admire the quality, it's well done, but I'm bored with spectacular paintings like that. Contemporary artists are looking for new horizons. Instead, they discover the unknown. They doubt everything, blah, 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 challenging the concept of art itself. And then he, some abstract artwork, does art have to be beautiful, blah, blah, blah. He's going on like he's just, Making an this art guy just sounds So like, he's, this guy sounds like the biggest fucking day of all time. Yeah, so he's basically going like, my food doesn't need to be good. It just needs to make you feel a certain way. Yeah. Or like, we strive every day for avant-garde. Can you, what the fuck does avant-garde mean? Just like weird and off-center. Yeah. And I, I find like this sort of shit when it comes to like food, so fuck, like so over the top and unnecessary. You're trying too hard. Like just make some food, like, 12 different types of foam. Like that's, who gives a shit? Who wants foam? I don't. I don't want foam. Like I do, I want to be able to eat. I don't mind having like an experience and going like, oh wow, this is like a different sort of thing or like a different take on something. But like, ultimately I am hungry and I'd like to be fed. Yes. I'm not a big like, Steph loves to go to like restaurants and shit. Like, oh, this new restaurant. Let's go. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, Unless it's a cool joint. Yeah, well, that, that, I think that's the point. But but it's like, for me, I'm just more like, I don't want some crazy, weird, like, 
foam in a bloody but how many, thing do you, over But mouth. do you ever go to places like that? These places no. are relatively rare. That's rare. Have you ever done like a degustation menu at a place? No, no. Again, I'm a little bit more like once I've eaten, I don't... Unless it's like, again, a vibey venue where you're sort of hanging out with a bunch of people. But like if it's just... I don't really like to sort of kick it in there for a long time. Like, all right, let's get out of here. You don't want to go for dinner with your missus? No, I love going to dinner with Steph. It's great. I more mean like... I don't know, these sort of really experiential sort of things aren't for me. Like, I like to just go somewhere, have a nice bottle of wine, dinner, and just sort of a good vibe and chill and shoot the shit, as opposed yeah. to like, oh, what are we bringing out next? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a fucking crumbed asshole of a... Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. You know what I took out of that article? The fact that he goes, McDonald's make a hamburger most people like, a cheeseburger, and they do, though. No, they do, they fuck... You can get a you can get a, a quarter pounder in the south of France, or you can get a quarter pounder in Western Sydney, and they'll taste exactly the same. But not even that. It's more about the fact that they've got the recipe. So right. many people like the taste of it. So many people like that burger. Mm. So I understand that the, the McDonald's probably isn't that good for you. Or definitely isn't that good for you. Yeah, not probably. I understand that it's like full of preservatives and you can leave it out and fucking, you can leave it outside and it won't get moldy for like 20 years. I know all that. I do. But those people that are like, oh, it's fucking, it's such shit food. It's all this, it's that. It's like, well, but it's. It's not shit food. But it's adored by yeah, the masses. Yeah. I'm, I hate to tell you. It's almost, it's almost I hate, I, it's I, like hate I hate to tell you. If you want to talk about art, Mac come to me. Art. Come to me with shit that's universally loved like that. Like McDonald's is the Beatles of food. <laughs> yeah. In some ways. In some ways. It might be bigger than the Beatles. I reckon more people like McDonald's than the Beatles ever fucking had fans. I think Mc, the McD McDonald's the, is bigger than the Beatles. The Beatles are the McDonald's of fucking music. Wow. I finished that doco as well. Oh, oh. Cars. And it's, you know what, a little bit more, maybe uh, less of a mouthful. I think I said eight episodes. It's three episodes, eight hours in total. Three, three, two, I think. Fuck me, dude. It's, so sick. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And again, for people like us who weren't there, or weren't alive, it's like you really are transported. You're like in the room with them. It's, it's so intimate. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, but, I mean, they're the mackers of music. Make no mistake. But not to, degra not to degrade their good name. No, God no. All we're saying is mass adoption. Or mass appeal. Mass appeal. I think the Beatles have sold more music than anyone else. Yep. Which is fucked. Mac has surely made more burgers than anyone else. Sold more burgers than anyone else. In one day, you would assume Mac has probably sold more burgers than anyone. When do you reckon Mac has <whistles> gone? I don't. Do you ever think about that? Yeah. Well, but it will be one day. But maybe when the world dies. You reckon that it'll be with us till the end? Well, what's going to stop it? People just might go, it's too produced. It's too... Uh, the yeah. way that the world's going, I don't think the world's trending towards that. I don't think the world's... But do you ever think about that? Yeah, I do. But I don't think the world's trending towards like... Mac is no longer being... Like, 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 back, so in the, like back in the 90s, right? You wouldn't have said that of Kodak. Probably. Yeah, but people are always eating. Unless you unless food changes, the way we eat. As yeah. in like literally like, oh, you know, uh, you don't have to pay for food. Anymore. We now only eat foam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's foam out of the mouth of some fucking chef. Like if you don't have to pay for food anymore, there's a way, again, there's too much that stands up on like the economy of the food industry. So it's not like you're going to be like, oh, we've found a way for you never to have to pay for food. It's like you would assume it's always going to happen. Yeah. I think Macca's like, if it was going to die out from the times it kind of would have already but it's always on the front foot with this shit like they're not marketing specifically to kids anymore they've mm. got like healthier options Oi, for kids. get some they've apples got, in your happy meal yeah, and they've got like an angus range for being a bit fancy they're trying to like push their coffee as like yeah. oh this is good australian yeah. coffee so people will come get it like i there. i sort of like thought that i read somewhere that maccas was on a bit of a decline but i, I don't think it is i mean i think overall probably, every time i go to one it's maybe. pumping i mean you have a fucking uh, sausage and egg with muffin and tell me that that business is on the decline. <laughs> Have a sausage and egg with a hash brown in it and tell me that this business isn't doing the right things. <laughs> That's, this, on, th on Friday last week after the bloody big night we had, I just waited for Steph to leave the house and I'm like, 
straight onto the bloody Uber Eats and she's Why'd like, you wait for her to leave the house? Because it was shameful to me. Like, not shameful, but I was just like, I was in a mood for being a pig and yeah. I needed to be a pig on my own terms. Yeah, on your own terms, away from away prying from eyes. prying eyes. Yeah, I, I understand that. I get that. I was also a piglet, house to myself, no one around, bang, Maccas, send me over a double cheeseburger, make it large, throw a mustard in. Ooh, do I want 20 nuggets? That seems like a lot, Edward. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to get 20 nuggets as well. My nuggets didn't arrive, which I was too hungover to fucking, you know, take up with the- Oh, uh, bro, I blow up straight away. I can't be fucked, dude. I just couldn't Did be fucked. Did you ever get a refund? No. You're an idiot. I can't be fucked, dude. I could not be fucked. Fuck, it takes one second. No, it doesn't, dude. It yes, doesn't. it does. My food didn't arrive. Bang, refund. No, they no, never. No, no, it's, no. it's never that easy, dude. Yeah, They're like, oh, like we'll refund process. you the delivery fee or some bullshit. Like, you've got to. I fucking, always get refunded every time. Yeah, I just. It takes me two seconds. Yeah, not for me. I'm prepared to wear it. But I was going through hell just to even get the order because my app was malfunctioning and I don't know why, but it kept like saying you had to basically. You had to pick everything as quickly as you could before the app wigged out. So it took me like maybe 15, 20 goes. Do you reckon you're allergic to technology? I don't know, mate. I mean, I think I teach you a thing or two. I think, you know. Do you know who do you know who else does McDonald's? This will blow your mind. Deliveroo and DoorDash. Oh, do they? Yeah. See, I only have the Uber Eats app. I thought that you would have to be exclusive to one app. No. Nah. Really? What? So you can either just you can just get another app. I can app. just get another app. Yeah, yeah. I would have, why isn't it why isn't there an exclusivity clause to it? I an think app? some of them do have exclusive clause. Some of them, like a Garlo's is only on DoorDash. I think Bondi Tony has exclusive to Deliveroo or something. I think KFC is exclusive to Deliveroo. There's no reason why I shouldn't have multiple food delivery services. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but I just, again, I'm a bit more of a, like, I'm a creature of habit guy, you know? I'm a rap and Very roll. much so. I'm a rap and roll. But you know what I would have done? I would have been like, the app's not working. I need another app. I got it to work, though. I but you didn't because you missed out on your nuggets. That what that was their fuck up. But you said you tried, but you went to say that you tried to get them and you couldn't get twenty. No, how many no, no, did no. you order? I got a six because I thought the twenty, as you did, was too hectic. It was too hectic. Yeah. Did you finish them? I gave some to Tonka. <laughs> he loved them. Yeah, I don't have a dog, so I would have ended up eating them. <laughs> <laughs> I got six. They didn't arrive, but I just, I it wasn't the app wasn't working. But that wasn't why I didn't get them. It was that I had to. I had probably like a 15 to 20 second window to get my order in before the app starts going beep, 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 something's going wrong. So what do like, you mean it was going beep? What it the was fuck like, is no, going like, on? It was in like something was kept flashing up saying like auto malfunction or something wrong, like not working, not working. So is I had it because you had a Samsung, you got a Samsung direct? No, it's not that, but thank you. Shout out to Samsung, please reach out. Do you still use your little-, little um, The pen in there, yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. When I'm doing fucking little Photoshoppy things, it comes in very handy because your finger isn't able to be like pointed enough. Yeah. Um, on fat fingers, did you see the guy? That's not worse. I don't fat fingers. That's, on fat fingers, did you see the guy that sold his board ape for three grand? Yes, that was ridiculous. That was like you just need to be taking more care in a in a high in a high stakes stake transaction. That's high stakes. That's high stakes, dude. That's a high stakes. That thing's worth three hundred grand or two hundred fifty yeah. grand. Well, he lost. It was three hundred grand, so he lost two hundred ninety-seven thousand. And as soon as he put it up, it was gone immediately. Like he realized, went to cancel, bang, it's gone. A bot got it. See you later. So a bot would just go, bang, I bought it straight away. Bang, instant. How the fuck do you get through the rest of the day? Well, the, and the day after that. For and those the of you who don't know, we're that. talking NFTs. Sorry, we're fucking, we're into the cool crypto Sorry, shit. we're crypto and shit. Sorry, heard of the blockchain? Surely you've heard of bored apes, punters and dribblers. Maybe not though. That's probably an assumption that has gone too far. NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Dude, bored apes are very popular. They're none worth of it makes sense. They're, they're worth, worth hundreds of money. thousands. They were minted in April. They're now worth hundreds of thousands each. Some guy sold one the other day, supposed to sell it for 300 or put a price up for 300 put a price up for 3,000, it was snatched up instantaneously. And this dickhead, who'd probably in his mind already spent the money because he was putting it up for sale. So I imagine he, ha he had sold oh, it. Oh, that head. makes me anxious, dude. Yeah, he would have had something. He would have had it planned. Plan. He might have already, he might have had to sell it for something. Maybe he bought a house, maybe he had a car, maybe who the fuck knows. But that money had been sold, uh, I, spent in his head. Yeah. I can guarantee you that. And there's, it, there's nothing you can do about that, eh? 
it's such a quick transaction. Like you can't, there's no like cooling off period or going like, are There's you also sure not you some like this? fucking trading house. It's sort of like. But that's the problem, isn't it? Maybe, or not the problem, but that's maybe problem. a little bit of a like a, a part of the space that could be improved where it's like you could have something that's a little bit more like, hold on. I think that- This needs, seems I, like it's criminally low for what the value I is. Think, or like, I think there could be some fail safes put in place, yeah. surely. I don't know how the fuck that would work. I'm not a tech guy. I don't know anything about the blockchain other than it exists. Mm. Uh, I don't know, but I think a fail safe would be a great idea. Almost like, you know how you can put things on your email, like a delayed send? Yes. You put 30 second delays on there. So if you send something, you're like, well, I might take that back. I, I unsend all the time. Oh, you do? I've just got it there where it, it's like, and I just- Because you're a will, hothead. No, no, because I never know like that. More just because I will fuck something up in there. Like I'm, I need to triple check everything. Because I'll have spelling mistakes or fuck. So it. you're so you'd be prone to a, a bored ape. Yeah, dude, I'd. Because you don't up. triple check and you got fat fingers. I don't triple check the double. I don't triple check the double. No, <laughs> I don't have fat fingers. Those fingers are completely normal. <laughs> if you like Trump, on YouTube. <laughs> My We're back on smart. YouTube. We're back on YouTube. I tell you what's crazy is that we put up a video saying no YouTube and people still ask, where's the YouTube? Someone, in the comments of the video. Someone said in the comment. Where's the YouTube? It's like, bro, you no, can't. No, 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 no. Someone was like, can you just put the audio up? That was, so there were two. One goes, hey, where's the YouTube? <laughs> Watch the fucking video. Yeah. There is no YouTube. We're packing 30 million things of merch. Then the other one goes, well, we'll just put the YouTube audio up. And I'm like, no. How about that? Just listen to it on any fucking podcast app you've got. What's the difference? Well, I'll tell you what the difference is. You have to have YouTube open the whole time. No, you no, can't no, even no, lock no. your phone. That, that person would surely have YouTube Pro. They'd have to. You'd have to be a sicko to have your phone open the whole time. Maybe, but I'm like, why would... YouTube's not a better podcast platform it's than... Not, it's not better than Apple or Spotify. No. Or just, just a not. podcast app, anything. But it's just sometimes. Do you like, reckon that person is an iPhone operator, uh, a Samsung operator, so they don't have Apple Podcasts, but they also don't want us to pay for Spotify? Are they in limbo? You don't have to pay for Spotify. Do you? No, you yeah. just have to. You just get ads. Yeah, you just oh, get right. pumped. But ads. you can get like Acast or some shit, which I think you can listen to Dude, podcasts for free without ads. Yeah. What did you used to use? I used to have a Podbean one. I used to have another one called like Pod something. Like just, there are so many apps for podcasts that you don't have to pay shit for. Then when Rogan went on to Spotify, well, I already had Spotify for music. And then it was just like, uh, Rogan was on there, which I listened to a lot and a couple other ones. And it was just like, well, fuck it. I'm just here. But I do still find Spotify just an absurdly unuser friendly. Apple Podcast is user friendly as well. If I listen to a podcast on Apple Podcast, fucking try this one for size. When I go back, not there. I'm not kept up to date. Like at least if Spotify, if I come back into the app, you're still listening to it. It's where I left it. But like Spotify, Apple's not. If I go, and to then I have to go and find the podcast where I'm up to and fast forward up to where the point where I am. I don't know if mine's faulty or that's what the madness. fuck's going on. That's mad. Is that not crazy? That's complete. That's crazy. Madness. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. With Spotify, you go like I remember I was listening to this true crime podcast uh, last year, and then it was like any time the episode would finish. And then I'd go out and I'd come back like to listen to the next one. This thing was like a, it was like, say it was a, it was called Hello Sport uh, True Crime. So they had multiple seasons. So I was listening to season three and every time I'd go back into it, I had to start scrolling from season one all the way through season two, all the way through season, all the way through it to get to season three, then all the way and to find the next episode is up to, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the user experience on that for such a big UX, platform, Tom. the UX dude is just diabolical. Be better. I read something the other day about these subscription platforms like Spotify and like, you know, whatever it is where it's actually, Netflix is another one, Amazon mm. Prime, all these streaming ones where it's not enjoyable or conducive at all to navigate through the platforms. Because they're subscription services, the best model for a user is someone who has the subscription but never uses it. So they kind of, in a way, don't care if people get fed up with their profile as long as they keep the subscription because for Netflix and for Spotify, things like that, you're like, oh, I don't want to miss, you know, whatever new show's coming out. I still want to listen to music sometimes. But if you're not just going on there just to search for something anymore, that's kind of ideal for them. 
Why is it ideal for them that you don't use it? I hear what like I hear what you're saying. Because if you're still subscribed and you're not using their platform, they're not. If you are subscribed and using their platform, they're not getting any more or less money out of you than if you're not subscribed. Sure, but, but you're so using like, their servers. I, I understand what you're stuff. saying there, but like, wouldn't, wouldn't the ideal get, thing wouldn't, be? Wouldn't you get? Wouldn't you actually get more revenue because they can run ads? Like no, Spotify. because if you've got a subscription service, they're not giving you ads. There's they still do. ads. There's still ads Joe in Joe Rogan. There's, Rogan ads. there's still ads in his podcast. But isn't shit. that his ads? Like the way we put our. No, ads I think in. what it is is I think they're Spotify's. Some ads, of them he. But so, that's because he's produced by Spotify. Yeah, so some of them he reads, and then some of them are just like you know fucking some ad. Maybe because it's in. the length. As a songs go for minutes, he's go. Well, it for is like interesting though. I thought it was meant to be. He wasn't meant to have ads on his thing. That was part of the fucking. That's what I thought. And then all and of a sudden, there's ads. ads. Yeah. I'm like, what and the I'm like, fuck? This is just they just changed the fucking the rules. But yeah, I know. To, to but sure, it's just, just, I think it would be server costs go down because not many people use it. That would have to be what what it is. Right. So so the the, the benefit being subscribe but not using because the server costs. So like if down. Netflix, if everyone who has a Netflix account was watching it once, the server requirements would be. Astronomical. Well, they'd need. They'd be calling. That us. would be. They'd be calling us and going. Listen, you your, your have server to, crashed. When they'd you have your to website. go. There'd be like a factor of ten, probably. Mm. Like, would ten percent of people been watching at any one time? I doubt it. Maybe sure. it's one in fifty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, it's a it's a fair point, in terms of, but no. it's like you know yeah. they, they don't want people using it. That's why people subscribe. Yeah, it's not like that's their business model that they're like, oh, we're going to try not make people use our platform. It's not like it's that, but it's not as big a deal for them. Something like that. And especially you when you're like a hegemonic platform like Netflix or Spotify, where you know people hegemonic. Have, yeah, I learned that word when I was uh, at Sydney not yeah Sydney Institute of Business and Technology, which was like a get some credits to get into uni. Well, I'm going to learn it right now. Yeah, Dave. I use that word all the time. You do. And and shit. I, like it it. I don't remember what it means. But like it, it just means do. like you're the dominating ruling force. You're yeah. the ruling, like you're the tippy top. You're what everyone kind of uses. Like, you know, you talk, I talk just a lot. So is Hello Sport yeah. hegemonic? Yeah, yeah, we're the hegemonic sports podcast. Yeah, we are. Or podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically for these big platforms, it's like there's no real alternative especially when you've got for Netflix like exclusive things on there you want to watch Seinfeld once a month you have to have Netflix you want to watch you want to listen to a new album when it comes out you have to have Spotify it's like people aren't people aren't being like oh I don't use it too much so I'm going to delete it everyone's yeah, like I'll I hear use you. it whenever I used to think that well I think that like everyone used to think that the streaming wars was going to provide you with more options and more value that may have been how it started but now you have more options and you're getting pounded up the asshole with subscription fees. I don't think- Did, did oh, Netflix no, no. just go up to like 20 bucks? Check what it is for yeah. a Netflix subscription. I remember going in there and it was like the big thing before you get into it's watch- It's not 20 bucks now, is it? It's gone up again. I don't know what it is, but it's gone up again. Cause when I went into it a couple of weeks ago, it popped up and was like, so you know, as of this date, the fees will be going up. And I was like, well, fuck, okay. It's, it's well, it's ten ninety nine for basic. It's no, we don't want basic. You need HD for premium. What's premium? It's HD. probably just normal. It's like what you would expect. Well, you can get oh, no, one of the Netflix options is n n SD standard definition. I'm like, who the fuck would get that? That's just a way for them to seem like that. To to like it, that is just purely like a. But who would get you. standard definition? People that can't afford it. You would have to have rocks in your head. But if you can't afford it, like well, that's you don't the have thing. HD TV, I guess. But who don't, do they make anymore? them anymore? I don't think so. It's but so Netflix, Stan, Binge, Paramount, Disney. I'm sure there's a fuck another Hulu, one. Mubi. I don't know the Hulu and Mubi. I'm not really sure about the fuck they are. That's more American shit. But like no, Mubi's in Australia as well. Mubi. Mubi's like weird, like niche films and stuff. Not. I'm not spending my money. We've on We've got that. Britbox as well. What is that? The there's, is there's that? Binge Britbox as well? is like yeah. I said Binge. BBC. Yeah. It's or ba it's basically like English crime shows. Do you watch that? Me and I love them. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is so funny. Yeah. Well, like those detective shows. Yes, but so correct. like there's like, 50, like 60. You could say correct. like, what? How much is they like? Let's say it's like twelve fifty each. They're like, I reckon the average would be twelve bucks. Yeah. So you're basically for five, you're getting like a, it's like a hundred bucks. I've got. We've got. 
Britbox no, was not right. Sorry, that math that was, was horrible. sixty bucks. Sorry, sixty bucks. We've got Britbox, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> for five, you've got like two hundred dollars. I fuck Stan <laughs> off because <laughs> Seinfeld's gone. My maths did. Your that max was, is fucked. That was so fucked. That was so fucked. A hundred bucks. That's it. Four, I think. Sorry, I'm just letting that just wash over in my brain. Two dollars fifty extra is gonna get you a hundred bucks. Um, Your maths is shot. Dude, that's why I dropped it. But it's also just about not thinking about what I'm saying. I just say shit. No, but it's, like, it's no, but it's like bad generally. Oh no, it's bad generally, and it's like down to being bad at it, and then also just not considering any of the things that are going around in my brain. Like, oh yeah, so that fucking five times twelve is hundred and fifty. <laughs> um, oh dear. But yeah, you don't really save money. Why are we going to save money? Well, well, it's kind of like life's just got more expensive. And then you've got like Spotify accounts and fucking what else are you on a YouTube premium? Like, I wonder whether there or how far away like a subscription uh, aggregator. We were be. talking about that. Yeah, know, aggregator basically just becomes what TV stations were. Yeah. And then they split again. Do you know what I mean? More aggregators. Like you go back to what it was. Yeah. You can watch all these shows via this single thing. Yeah. But do you know what's happening now because of all these different streaming things, which is the same thing that happened when the whole thing with cable TV happened? Piracy is going up. Is it? Yeah. Australia is one of the biggest like pirating nations in the world. I, I think it's probably a bit less so now, but... Oh, we were, like, bro. A, a Game of Thrones We used to yeah, pirate yeah, fucking everything. That, dude, the fact that things would come out in America and then wouldn't come out in Australia for like three weeks. Yeah. Fucking what do you expect? But it course. wasn't even that. It was like, oh, you want to watch Game of Thrones? You need a set-top box, yeah. Foxtel. It's like, yeah. uh, try again, bro. Yeah, no, I don't. I'll go to fucking Pirate Bay and I'm just going to torrent the shout shit Shout out to out Pirate Bay, yeah, who had the big lift for a long time. Long I think time. they're no longer with no, us. No, still going the big lift. He's in well, I thought someone got, re- I thought someone got arrested age. from yeah, Pirate I Bay. They did as well. No, they're just on like these servers that they just keep moving around and shit. So someone wasn't arrested from Pirate Bay? They might have oh, been. I'm sure someone might have been. But they're, they're one step ahead of the game. I used to fucking do it for everything. Yeah. Everything. You, are you, you thinking hide? of the, the mega upload dude, Eddie? Oh, oh maybe oh, I'm thinking mega of video. Upload. Mega video. Mega video is Dope, dude. Yeah, that's that yeah, was that's so exactly good. who I'm thinking of. Yeah. Mega video, you had everything, and it was quick. It was great quality. Dude, this was literally before streaming this shit. Yeah, because we didn't get Netflix for ages. No, in Netflix was Kim. such a Yeah, this is him. Is He's he a Kiwi, in- isn't he? Because no, he lives in New Zealand. He lives in New Zealand. I thought he was in prison. He post what's where's he at now? That's is he out that. and about? Um, I thought he was in prison. So he might have got extradited. Bloody long Wikipedia article. So he was ex- so he was living in New Zealand, and I think they wanted to charge him in the US, but they couldn't get him over. So there was extradition hearings. Um, so I'm seeing that feels like he's still there. In New Zealand. He was apparently, I don't know about this either. Can we like check for Kim.com's house in New Zealand? I think it was like fucking hectic. Mm, It's it's cooked. Um, Yeah. Bro, fuck. See, like this sort of shit you just just start forgetting about. Yeah. Mega video was so good. It was the best. Look at this house, dude. It's got a little fucking grass maze. Respect. Kim.com did pretty well, bro. Kim.com did pretty well. Love that shit. Yeah, he's still in New Zealand. Yeah. He's battling extradition currently. Still. Get him, Kim. Get him, Kim. As long as he hasn't done anything like criminal. I mean, obviously well, he's done some criminal shit, but I mean like nothing that I I enjoyed his services, so I'm not too Well, I'm just it's just a gentle nod of the cap to, to Kim for his services to the yeah. punter and the dribbler over the years. Probably more the the older yeah the older punter and dribbler because everyone else but i can understand why piracy goes up again because it's like well i don't want to pay for all these because that was also it as well right pay for netflix get all these shows mm. then 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 it was like well disney goes well, why the fuck are we giving you all of our movies let's just start our own disney shit and then we start producing disney content and it's all on disney paramount same thing like so you just go oh okay well now we've got a what's on paramount well, i don't know paramount have like their own film studio stuff plus they've got the a-league 
And I know their, their channel. <laughs> See, that's the problem. Plus, we've got the A-League. That's the problem, is that sport will start to get splintered. Yeah. That's going to fuck me right off. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> Already, see if that you, been a problem. my mate was complaining to me, again, bit of a loser, watches A-League sometimes, but if you want to be an actual <laughs> soccer fan, you have to get Paramount to watch A-League, you have to get Optus Sport to watch Premier League, and you have to get Stan to watch Champions League. That's I crazy. I won't be doing any of but that. But there'd be, no, but like, that's an example of what we're talking about. Yes. Like, there's people out there that fucking love football. Power to you who would legitimately want to watch all three of those leagues. But then you could potentially, and it's obviously different because they're multiple leagues, but say like NBA or if the NRL go down this, where you can go, oh, the NBA, for example, is on fucking multiple different networks in America, or you just get the NBA pass and you're just paying the NBA and you have it online. Like that's that's also would be the way around it. Like if you're, if you're following- But it's not it, a way around the multiple leagues. No, 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 it's not. It's not. But like I'm in a- privileged position of not giving a shit about soccer so i don't really care so like it could be like we've got nrl but we've got state of origin yeah but what it, or yeah. i pay for nrl's rugby league the nrl like the rugby league pass yeah and i get everything and you get everything which could, is what i would do yeah, yeah. cricket Fuck would well, be I'd tough though because like give it to us for free yeah i'd be i'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. on the emails to pvl just going 100 percent. just give us a login bro Wait, what's your what's your logins Wait, what was the time frame, the lifespan, Dave, of LimeWire? Like, how long do you reckon you were using that for? I was using it for ages, but it was also, it was funny, is you'd go, you'd like, you'd download a song, go have dinner, come back, and it still wouldn't be finished. So, well, you had a good 10 years. 10 years. I wasn't using it till 2010, I don't think. Really? Nah. Bro, I was using that when I, I was in I fucking, was. when I do was you in, reckon? St yeah. yeah, I was using that when I was 13. You seven and eight. I was fucking downloading. Thirteen. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What time? What year did I start high school? That's two thousand three. What time did it start? Two thousand. Two thousand. But it ended. I'm saying, in would you reckon you were using it in two thousand ten? Yeah. You weren't using it at uni. No, I was using it when I was in high school. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't think I was using it up until two thousand ten. Well, then that's not the case. Clearly. You think you were using LimeWire at university? No, dude, I was using it when I was in fucking 13. So yeah. you weren't using it at the end then? That's no. what I'm saying. You're saying you were using it at uni. <laughs> saying I wasn't. Yeah, right. Well, so and you were saying you were, and I'm like, no, you weren't. I thought you were saying you weren't using it when it was yeah, first I wasn't. getting into its work. No, I wasn't using it in 2010. I thought you were saying I was using it in 2010. I was like, you're a freak, dude. No. You were still doing Go up, look at those screenshots. Yeah, bro, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Do you remember you'd have to look for like, there was different options and ones were better ones than others? Ones were the good ones, yeah, yeah. And How I could used, you tell again? I can't remember. I can't remember. remember. And you used to download like, I remember downloading like episodes of Punked. That was like the fucking funniest show going around at that time. Well, Jackass and Punked. They were the two that used to just download as well. Like when you started being able to download episodes, that was, that was big, big boy stuff. So did people upload them? Yeah. Yeah. You would, you would like people were uploaders and people were downloaders. Yeah. So the way right. these ones work and like with torrents as well, it's like seeding. Once you've got the file and you don't click like stop, it's still there in your LimeWire or in your uTorrent or whatever. And it also uploads that file so other people can download it after you've downloaded right. it. Right. Does that make sense? So you end up becoming part of the process of helping Yeah, out. that's why it's like peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. And that was it. Stuff. So it was like the more people that had it or something, it was like the quicker you'd be exactly. able to download yeah, it. Yeah, right. because the more people are uploading it at the same time. What was uTorrent? uTorrent I still use. It's like you download torrents on it. You know, what are you using torrents for? I download like films or TV shows or shit. Dude, he's at that age. Do you? That was when I was Yeah, there. because I was I'm not paying for shit. every streaming yeah. service. When you're fucking in your early 20s, you're like, I'm not pissing money away on all this shit. shit. What have I downloaded? That's so here? funny, dude. Mm. So it's just, you get to an age where you're like, too hard. Too hard. I just wanna, I'm just going to fucking pay for it. That's a good point. Dude, you think and I'm paying for And you do reach that point. Yeah, you do. You're Back in the day, I was the tightest cunt. Yeah. Tired on everything. Yeah. No, bro, I'm not paying for that. Fuck that. But it's like, because you had to be. Paying for ham? Nah. <laughs> That's right. We used to find- Nah, this would be a dollar worth of feta. Yeah, we used to get, uh, when we were very poor at uni, don't come after us big big ham, but we would get like a kilo or two of ham. Three, four. Three kilos of ham. And then we'd also get like a little thing of uh, olives. 
and then we just peel the sticker off the olives and put it over the ham sticker. And then when we were going through the checkout. We'd just make sure that we were, we'd never do self serve because that's where they look for people trying to rip the system. Yeah. So you go through. We the were checkout. cleverer than that. No, of course we were, but we were a step a bit we're, ahead. We're like, oi, because we'd we'd fucking re sticker heaps of shit. Yes. So then then you'd be going through the checkout with an actual person and then you just chat to them. Yeah. And so you got to like, it's all about, it's a, it's a full-time job. Someone's loading the trolley, but then the other three are like engaged, yeah, on. engaged, on. wine and dine, whoever the fuck is behind the yeah. cash register, man or woman, doesn't matter. Doesn't wine matter. and dine them and just get them into a habit of like, Beep. oh yeah, what are you up to? Beep. What are you up to? Oh yeah, yeah. Now, so we're not in, we're not, uh, Encouraging this sort of behaviour. No, no. But I, I'm always honest with the pun on the dribble. We're not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. But when you've got a hundred bucks to last you two weeks, sometimes, sometimes you've got to take you matters in it. your own hands. You know what? Some of like, you know, some of the most successful people in the world, you look at like Jay Z, he's like a billionaire now. He sold drugs at one point. We stole ham. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't steal it. We didn't steal. Well, we paid less than we, we should. We paid less than we should have. That's we didn't steal it. Though. We got discounted ham. We never stole it. We anything. never stole a thing. We did get discounted ham and we apologize. <laughs> we do. And it was good ham. It was good ham. And it kept us alive. It kept us and going. And without that ham, you could make the argument, Tom we, and I would no longer be here. We wouldn't even be here. So and you wouldn't have what? dribble and yarn. Yeah. So then you're robbed of dribble and yarn. Why? Because we didn't get ham to, to nourish the body, the soul, you know, the there's, spirit. There's moral and ethical questions, sure. But like, ultimately, what's more important? A, a life? A life or a fucking, you know, a few extra dollars on a kilo or two of ham every week as ham and cheese toasties tasted extra good though hey, we used to get that fucking pickled the pickled, pickled, the pickled spread pickle spread oh mate that pickled spread i still see it when i go through there now and i just nod to it yeah, like, you nod to that pick yeah you i do it? i nod to the well not really because i don't have the I, I don't have a need for it dude that pickled spread was no joke yeah i nod at the pickle spread when i walk past like like Thank when you, you pass services. an old friend of like you know <laughs> yeah. Good to Ham, see you again. Those buns, cheese, mozzarella, probably like a che- like it was like it would have been a, the a home brand one. tasty. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, it was the yeah. packeted like the shredded, shredded. Yeah, and that pickled goodness, goodness. Maybe a bit of mustard on there. Yeah. Boom. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. We'll find. Uh, we'll find some of that. You know what? Maybe I'm going to get some of that pickle shit now. I mean, it's just not. I hadn't really thought about it for so long. And I think the things that we used to purchase back in those days were of like zero, zero like nutritional value, but low on, low on nutrition, but also low on Do price. Do you remember our cut we used to get when Jarch would buy it? He'd come for the shop with us, right? And he wouldn't shop. And he'd put it in. Yeah. But then we started noticing that he wasn't eating anything of the stuff we'd purchase and he'd start doing his own shopping. Yeah. We were like, what's wrong with you, dude? Why don't you fucking want to get around the, the food we eat? Why don't you like the chicken burgers Why we Why don't eat? you like the 33% chicken burgers we get and the weird pickle spread and like these home brand sausages that just <laughs> could be like a toy. They're yeah. so, un, they're so, they don't why look don't, like food what, at all. Why, what's wrong with the fucking 60 pack of sausages <laughs> we got, bro? Yeah, and the 12 litres of milk for the week. What's, I don't get it. Uh, you, you think you're better than us, bro? <laughs> <laughs> You, That's what it was. Yeah. You're better than you us. Think you're better than us with your zucchini. You fuck with. What the fuck? What are you doing? Broccoli, bro. What are you doing? Grow up. Whatever. Did it drive a wedge between us? Slightly. Luckily, you know what's that crazy? wedge has been removed. I, I only have one memory of like things we ate. Like we ate chicken burgers and we ate ham and cheese toasties. I don't have any recollection of cooking a single meal there. I don't have any recollection of other things we might have eaten. No, I only remember Street cooking pasta that time and then like it was, it looked like a murder scene in the kitchen <laughs> and he didn't clean it. Yeah. He just walked out of there. That's we, what was that. I remember that all the pots and mind. pans on his bed. And he didn't notice. And he didn't notice. He's, punishment, his bed was covered, covered in pots and pans. And he didn't Under the doona, on top of he the doona. He just put them on the floor and climbed into bed as if he'd put them there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true story. I haven't sugarcoated that either. No, that's exactly that's legit. how it happened. Anyway. Anyway. How long have we been going for? I though? think that's us. Um, hour and a half. I reckon we probably fucking put a pin in it there. Eh? Pull the pin. Thanks for coming. See you tonight, 6.30. Live stream, 6.30. Love you all. Love you all. Love you all. Later. Love you. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>